Hi there. Welcome to another edition of iKosher Chef um, making home cooked meals for the family. So my kids love sushi. It's a time consuming thing to make. So we have it every once in a while. Today I've allocated some time to make sushi for them and a lot of sushi to hold them over until the next request for, for sushi. So once you have all your ingredients prepped, it takes a little bit of time, but the work goes quite quickly and it's quite easy to actually make. The time consuming part is in the preparation of the rice and your fillings. But once that's done, and your fillings don't have to be uh, complicated, my kids have a bit of a simpler taste for the most part when it comes to sushi. So cucumber is their favorite. Just cut into Size. these. A little bit larger than a matchstick size and they love tuna so this is a good quality canned tuna there's a little bit of mayonnaise in it a little bit of uh, chopped onions a little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of ginger powder okay you have a fairly inexpensive uh, sushi mat a bamboo sushi mat covered in plastic wrap this way it'll stay stick around for a long time to come. There's no need to even wash it. You cover it very tightly with plastic wrap. It's quite pliable still. And after you're done making sushi, you remove the plastic and uh, put away your bamboo mat into a Ziploc bag, put it away, and it's good for another time. And of course, don't worry. Now, for presentation, if you're going to do a sushi roll with the rice on the inside, where the noris will be shown, the shiny side should be on the outside. So the rougher part on the inside. So that's the part you'll be putting the, your rice on. Put it down on the mat. You wet your fingers a little bit. And this way it helps uh, for the rice not to stick so much to your hands. You take a little bit of, of rice. And you put the rice about three quarter way. You leave a little bit less than a quarter uh, inch of space all around the mat. Or the, uh, the nori mat the nori sheet that is and put the rice all around like this all right and the reason you leave a quarter inch all around is so the uh, the nori sheet can't connect to itself and it's almost like glues itself shut and you have to don't forget to put some water on the edges okay so you put you put the rice like that then you wet your fingers again and you wet the, that that uh, a quarter inch that you left open all around on the nori sheet and this way it'll it almost glues itself shut once you put the filling we're going to start with the cucumber all right just like so and you start to roll okay you can pull the zucchini or the uh, cucumber back a little bit with your fingers so it's, so it's closer to the edge that's near you and you roll over like this and you as with each roll you pull the mat back a little bit so each roll is quite tight you push over again you make it nice and tight and at this point you can roll all the way and maybe one more time give it a nice tight pull and you roll all the way just like that Okay, when you get to the end, you might get a piece that's still open a little bit. You pull it back to the very to the edge as closest to you and give it one more tight roll. And voila, you've got your sushi roll. Okay, so we're going to continue. This time we're going to try to make uh, a roll with the rice on the outside. Okay. You can either put the rice first and then you can put uh, then you can wet the edges or you can just simply wet the edges right at the beginning again you wet your your fingers and you start to put your rice on the mat now because we're going to be um, showcasing the rice the rice is going to be on the outside you don't necessarily have to leave too much of an edge just a little bit Just like that, a little bit more, just about to the edge. 
Okay. Again, you wet your fingers. You want to make sure that you don't have rice on your hands when you start to roll. And then you're going to flip that over, just like that. Maybe this time we're going to use some of our tuna mix. Okay, all the way to end to end. It's nice when you get quite a bit of filling, so you don't feel like you're just eating rice. Okay, you could put a uh, cucumber in as well. So this will be a cucumber and tuna. And here you go, and you start to roll. Okay, and the same thing is as you're rolling, you're pulling back a little bit because you want to make sure it's, it's a nice tight roll. Okay. And you go all the way to you roll all the way to the end, and you might want to make one more tight roll, just like that. And then with the rice, uh, I find that it's a little bit easier to to slice it when you put a little piece of plastic wrap. This way, it doesn't stick to your knife, and the plastic wrap comes up quite easily afterwards. So you want to make sure you've got a sharp knife, okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And nine. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got ten nice slices. And like magic, the plastic comes off quite easy. And you've got beautiful slices. You can top it off. I've got a small mixture that I made. You can do anything. This is just a little bit of parsley, a little garlic powder, a little bit of sesame seeds. Okay. And you can just sprinkle that right on top. You can do smoked salmon on top as well, depending on who your guests are and what their tastes are. You can accommodate them with those kind of flavors. And that's it. One of the sushi rolls that we're going to try making is a tempura sushi roll. It's quite easy to make actually and the ingredients for it are quite simple. You can see the recipe uh, that's attached with this video but it's very easily made. It's just it's one cup of flour, one egg, one cup of water and that's it. Flour, water and an egg. So we're going to dip, we're going to dip our sushi roll and I'm using a pan that's a little bit smaller, so I'm going to cut the sushi roll right in half. Okay. If you've got smaller pans at home, you can do that. So you simply cut it about this size. And I'm going to dip my sushi roll in my mixture. My oil is now nice and hot. Okay. And here we go. Simply just like that. We're going to take our tongues. We're going to take our tongues. And we're just going to make sure that when one side is fried, Make sure it's not sticking to the bottom of the pan. Okay. One side is fried. You want to make sure that it's nice and crispy on one side. And shallow fry it. You can safely and easily fry at home. You don't have to deep fry everything. It can be shallow fried. You just have to make sure that when one side is nicely fried, you don't walk away from whatever it is that you're frying. 
and make sure that the product isn't sticking to the bottom of the pan and then you simply just turn it over like that now you can see you can see a nice crust that's formed on the batter that's exactly what you're looking for so it's nice and crispy when it starts to form like this you can start turning it and then once it's crispy all around you can leave it for just a little bit longer it won't stick to the bottom of the pan any longer all now you're going to do is you want to give it a golden uh, color. I hope that was a nice easy tip and I hope you're going to try that at home. Bon appetit.